So in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about stratification, bedding and bedding planes, lamina, cross lamination, cross stratification, cross bedding and bed forms. Like what, what are those? Um, so the first thing is uh, stratification. So strata equals layers. Okay, so stratified rocks are rocks uh, with layers. And so if we, we look at this picture here, you can see that there's a layer here. There's another layer up here. You might divide out that thin one in there. And as you come down here, you can see that there, there are plenty of layers. So we would say uh, the stratification in this rock uh, varies uh, vertically because down here where we have the older beds, they're thinner and then up here they're much thicker. Okay. So I've been using the term uh, beds and bedding planes. So each grouping of rock that breaks into a layer with a top and the bottom is what we call a bed. Okay. And so in some cases, the, the beds continue for a long time laterally, but then in other cases, like this one right here, as it comes up and around over this corner, it pinches out into something that's, that's very thin. But in general, beds uh, are single layers uh, that continue at least somewhat laterally. Okay. So the beds themselves are separated by what we call bedding planes. And so if we look, for example, down here, uh, we can see a bed. And then there's a little bit of topography going back to this dashed line in here. And if you look down on that surface, it'll it'll be somewhat planar. And so we have the term uh, bedding planes, and those are the boundaries between the beds. So beds are separated from each other by the bedding planes. And they're not always um, completely planar, but they often are. Okay. So then we have structures that are uh, within beds, and those are often called uh, the lamina. All right, so lamina are layers within bed, within beds. And um, you can see some in uh, this picture here uh, where there are individual layers that come span across this rock. And this particular rock does not actually uh, break into beds like the one it does above. And that's in part because it's all about the same grain size and deposited in um, a similar way. Now we're getting down to the idea of cross lamina, cross lamination, cross stratification, and things like that. So if we look at this image, it has both cross lamination and cross stratification. And I'll talk about the difference between those in a minute. And this, the cross part of these terms comes from the idea that the layers inside the beds are not parallel to the beds themselves. Okay. So this image doesn't have a very strong bedding, but there is a bed boundary in here, roughly, sort of broken up. And if you look at the layer at the bottom, there are lamina 
that are roughly parallel to each other. Okay. If you look up in this layer here, you can see that they're lamina that are curved. They are not parallel to that to that bed boundary. And what they do is at the bottom they sort of pinch together and at the top they're a little bit wider again. Okay. And there's some variation and they cross each other a little bit in different ways here. Okay. So this geometry where some of the layers inside the bed are at this angle to the bedding planes themselves, and there'll be another one uh, uh, sort of roughly in here. Okay, that's the cross stratification or cross lamination. And the difference between these two is usually how big they are. So the lamination is for small uh, cross layers and the, the cross stratification is for larger ones, just in terms of the, the terminology. And then down here, because these are planar, approximately pl uh, parallel to the bedding, we would call these um, uh, planar lamina. So I'm going to show you another example here that has some really nice uh, cross lamination and also uh, some contortion in here. So if we look at uh, this zone right in here, we can see that there are a lot of thin layers that are changing geometry laterally, right? So and some of them are truncated against other ones. Um, so, so for example, here are some that come up and they're truncated right at the surface here. And uh, there's some lamina sort of pinch and swell um, uh, over that. And then this area in here is uh, contorted. And that's probably from deformation after the sediment was deposited. Okay. So here we have some cross lamination. And I'm saying the lamination because the, uh, the layers are very thin and small. So you can tell uh, by the size of the, the mechanical pencil here that these are really, really fine layers. And that's in contrast to this image above. Again, we have the, um, a mechanical pencil up here. These layers are much coarser. The grain size is also coarser, and that's why we call those um, cross stratification.